who here believes in God moments? I thought so. My uh, God moment today is actually the spot from which I'm going to do this song to uh, lift up to God as we worship Him today. And the reason why this spot is a God moment for me is because it was at this spot on a uh, Saturday, 15 Octobers ago, that I met God on the mountain. And I met Him uh, that afternoon when He finally was able to get through to me why that cross is so important. And I finally realized why His Son, Jesus Christ, had died. And what I realized was that part of the reason for that was because there would be some kid born 2,000 years later who would need to be saved. His love and His saving grace would be needed through all of the days, even 2,000 years later on. And then later that same day is when I actually saw the face of God. And as I was walking down, well, I wasn't actually walking. Doug Purdy was <laughs> carrying me down the hill. <laughs> I was crying. I cried a lot that day. I was dehydrated by the end of that day. But Doug had to carry me down the hill because I was crying so much that I couldn't see. And there's some roots there that if you're not careful, you'll trip over the root and you'll fall down into the amphitheater. So God bless Doug for taking me down the hill. But we stopped at this spot, pretty much. And that's where people walked by and they sang this song over and over that couldn't remember the words to, but I just knew that it meant that God loved me and that the face of Jesus Christ had been walking by me. So this is where I met God on the mountain. And I think probably even more enjoyable over the years than just meeting God for myself was being able to see other people meet God on the mountain, whether it was at this spot or somewhere else on camp fact that they were having that opportunity to meet God on the mountain. And for 50 years that's happened. God has been able to meet His children here on the mountain. So as we think about the next 50 years, the thought that uh, comes across my mind is that I can only imagine what it's going to be like for these people who have no idea that one day they're going to come up this mountain to camp over them, and they'll meet Jesus Christ. You can only imagine what that's going to be like. <laughs> Yeah. 
No. Oh. 